Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're going to be checking out the brand new synthesizer from Softube called Statement Lead. Obviously, as the title might suggest, this is an instrument aimed at making leads and it does it very, very easily and at an extremely good level. So in this video, I'm going to essentially make a patch with you, but along the way, show you around the synth. It's very easy to navigate and the streamlined GUI makes things really, really easy to get great results quickly, which allows you to stay creative and stay in the sort of mood when you're creating music rather than having to get in and dial specific parameters in that are only going to make small changes. So for full details about the synth, click the link in the video description and let's just jump into it. What I'm going to do first is play some of the presets here just so you can get a feel for the synth. So that's one and just from here I want to show you kind of my first go-to parameters that I like to use when I'm flipping through presets trying to find the right sound. The first one is the punch knob down here at the bottom. And watch what happens as I tweak this towards the right. So we've gone from more of a lead to a pluck just with that one knob. And just from these two, we can really sculpt the sound. But not only that, but we can do it with the filter cutoff over here where we have the type and the amount. So these two sections are where I go to if I'm looking for a different shape, but kind of like the sonic characteristics of any one of the presets. Let's check out a few more presets. So obviously this is aimed at making leads, but these pads sound absolutely fantastic. So let's get into building a sound. I want something kind of plucky that goes with the music that I have here. And the bass line is just following the chords that I have inside of the MIDI clip that's driving statement lead. So let's go ahead and choose some sources. And the way to do that is you jump right over here and we have a drop down with tons of different source material to choose from. I'm just going to come in here and choose digital heat. And then for source B, I'm going to come into something percussive because I'm looking for that kind of attack transient. I'm going to choose this one. Now here we can actually pitch that second source up or down an octave. And we also have a detune control as well. But we're already well on our way. Let me go ahead and solo that lead. Next, we have a dirt control where we can select a noise, okay? And I'm just going to come into, we can choose an attack or a noise. I already have something kind of attacky going on for source B, so I'm just going to come into noise and choose something. And I'm going to route it to the filter. But if I don't route it to the filter and turn it up and then turn down the filter cutoff and play, you can hear it and that's as loud as it's going to go and inside of the manual it actually says that this is meant just to flavor or put the icing on top of the sound it's not meant to be a feature of whatever is coming out of the synth so that's why you can't really push it up and once i put it to the filter and turn up the filter cutoff you know it's really going to be sitting back but still adding a bunch of character to the sonic frequencies especially towards the higher frequency content now we can come down here and choose the balance between source A and source B. Mm -hmm. 
and something right around there is a good place to start. Next, we can choose mono unison and velocity. I'm just gonna leave those as they are. And then, like I said, my favorite parameters to tweak out are the punch and release. That almost has kind of that, uh, what's that track by Faithless called? Is it God is a DJ? Oh, it's the other one. Insomnia, that's it. From there, we have an auto guide options, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn those off. And then we have a nice aging control. And if I really crank this up, you can really start to hear wow and flutter introduced. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit to the right of normal. Next, let's come over to the filter. Let's open it all the way up. Then I'm really digging it. We can also turn on key tracking. Let's jump into effects. Let's turn off the drive. Uh, the reverb looks pretty good. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Maybe turn the tone a little bit down. Let's also pull back on the multiband. And again, let's just come into the output and turn that up. And really the last thing I might wanna do is change the slope over here to six and pull up the resonance. And one of my favorite things about Statement Lead after playing with it for a few days is not only the amazing sound quality of all the different sound sources built inside of here, but just how streamlined and easy it is to shape the sound once you have it in there. I really, really dig the fact that I don't need to spend days routing and modulating and doing everything to get a really great sound. It really helps with production workflow when you're trying to stay creative and keep the engine you know, grinding out the full idea of a track before going in and tweaking things. So I really, really dig it. It is an incredible synth. Highly suggest checking it out. Click the link in the video description if you want to. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.